Shalom, Kahalaya Hawa Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kakudash, the Lord is my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Asharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how the Lord took out Ruth Bader Ginsburg and put her to death. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and read this. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 11. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of God they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise so for you that don't know Ruth Bader Ginsburg besides being an Amalekite Edomite and Amalekites by the way are the true biblical names of those people today who call themselves the Jews who live in the land of Israel they would be the false Jews written about in the Bible in Revelations 2 and 9 and 3 and 9. Well, besides that, her occupation was a Supreme Court Justice and she served for 25 years on the Supreme Court and she was appointed by the Clinton administration and she has been upheld by the liberal left here in Babylon the Great as one of their heroes as an idol or this was the vigil that was kept for this woman at the Supreme Court right because you see besides her being an Edomite one of the uh, top warriors I guess you could say of these Edomites right even though she wasn't a physical warrior she was a legal warrior she was re responsible for many of the abominable laws that were passed here in Babylon the Great which made it become such an abominable place to the Lord. Women equality rights, abortion rights. She was one of the uh, main decision makers on the LGBT marriage in all 50 states. She's basically been responsible for a lot of left-leaning laws which Babylon the Great has held up in, with great dignity, but in reality is folly when it comes to the Bible and just human nature in general. Well, like I said, she was considered a hero or an idol to many of these people here in Babylon, right? You can see here in this photo, you have feminists out in droves, you know, these pink cats, right? They're all over here. And the thing about Ruth Bader Ginsburg is even though she was a woman, an Edomite, she was a stronghold of Babylon the Great. With her and her decisions that she ruled on, she was responsible for having a lot of the abominable laws upheld here in Babylon the Great. Because you see, though America, Babylon the Great, now is completely gone. It is, it's jumped the shark, I guess you could say, right? It's gone full wicked now. But at times, you had people within the, the United States who tried to fight against these liberal views, these liberal laws from being passed, right? Because you have a lot of these Edomites out here who, you know, are deceived and they actually, you know, believe in the Bible. They believe that the uh, religion that was created by men, you know, in, includes them in the salvation. And henceforth, they try to do what is right according to the Bible. And hence, they came against the liberal left here in America. Now, they ultimately failed because, again, the devil here is going to get his way. But just like the Lord said in the scripture of Wisdom of Solomon, how he would visit the idols of the Gentiles, he's doing it now. And he's doing it in a strategic strike because this lady here, she was she should have died a long time ago. She's been riddled with, with cancer throughout her body, but the Lord let her live on for a while. And why is that? Because let's go and read what this says here. I think this is going to explain it perfectly, what her death now means. It says, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death could mean the end of church and state separation, abortion rights, 
LGBTQ rights and civil rights in general. This is Exodus 17 and 16. For he said, because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai hath sworn that Yahweh would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is an Amalekite, right, a so-called Jew. And in her actions that she does naturally, they are naturally against the Lord. So the things that she had was responsible for passing, you know, for being the the descending, you know, decision on, on one one case versus another, all the things that she helped to propagate here in Babylon the Great, though they were simply ju judgments and, and rulings, right? She never picked up a sword, never did things like that. But her actions caused a great movements of wickedness to happen here in Babylon the Great, right? And that in turn was a war against the Lord, right? And this right here fulfills that prophecy. It's just one of the many examples of how Amalek would is naturally coming against the Lord throughout all his generations, all the way back from the Garden of Eden even to now. And let's go ahead and read a little bit more about her death and what that's going to bring. This article from Pathios says, Replacing Ginsburg or 82-year-old Stephen Breyer with any of those right-wing extremists would further solidify the conservative bent of the of the court. Chief Justice John Roberts wouldn't be able to prevent massive social upheavals by flipping sides. There will be no more fivefold rulings that offer a pleasant surprise to liberals. It will mark the legal end of abortion rights, LGBTQ rights, civil rights, and church-state separations across the nation to the point where many people living in red states would effectively be second-class citizens. This is not just a doomsday hypothesis, it's literally what Trump has been telling his base will happen if they re-elect him and keep the Senate in Republican hands. So you see there, the Lord is making these Edomites, these Egyptians, as the Bible refers to them, right? Because the, the so-called Caucasian people are the modern-day Egyptians. Remember, they were the late-term Egyptians after Ptolemy had taken over after the uh, Alexander the Great had, had conquered Egypt. And that's why you have a lot of the nobility and the, uh, the royal of uh, the Edomites today claiming that their bloodline or their lineage goes back to the Egyptians. And what they're referring to is not the original dark Egyptians, they're referring to the Ptolemies, right? The, the, the people who came from Alexander the Great. Well, you see, the Lord, right now he's tearing down Babylon the Great, and he's doing it little by little, by causing explosions, causing people to rise up against, by taking out little old 82-year-old ladies. You know, because think about that, man. This lady was meant to, to pass away for like five, I think five, ten years ago, man, when she first had cancer or something. But the Lord preserved her perfectly for this time, for her death to bring forth the most calamity at the worst time possible, when Babylon the Great is on its knees. Now, those people who are for sure to destroy Babylon by their, by their hatred for the other minorities here in Babylon the Great, they're now going to be able to run the government the way they see fit and now you're going to start seeing a lot more of these harsh draconian laws come come forth and also you're going to see a lot of these liberal laws that went forth with the whole you know lgbt the uh, abortion and all those abominable laws you're going to start seeing them uh be contested now and what's that going to do that's going to just cause more hatred here man it tells you here in jeremiah 51 and 2 and will send onto babylon banners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about you see that the lord he is turning up the fire on these edomites anger man and what's going to happen is now you're going to have an even more intense fight between the left and the right right because you see even though you have a lot of our people the negroes latinos native indians pretending that they're they're making a, a, a difference by voting, by getting involved in politics. This ain't our game, people. 
these devils, they simply let us join in on the game. But when it comes down to it, whose table are we sitting at? Is it our table or is it their table? It's their table. It's the Edomite table, man. That's why we're at the at the tops of the of even the Democrat side, who's who's the ruling? Who's the uh, rulers of the Democrats? Right, the the top rulers, man. They're all Edomites, man. And the reason is because they simply let you in on their side, so that way they could, you know, fill a quota. They could appear that they're helping the minorities, but ultimately, they're all filling an agenda, man. And this agenda ultimately is for the Edomites success right but now you're going to start seeing in the next few months possibly you know possibly years if you get to it you're going to see a lot of legal battles that are going to start pitting the left versus the right and the hatred that you're seeing now between republicans and democrats liberals and conservatives is only going to grow more fire right as as it said and like it tells you here man it's going to be so bad it's going to empty her land People are going to start rioting more. People are going to uh, start talking about all these laws that are going to be coming against pretty soon. And that's just going to destroy this place, man, even faster. This is James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Yea, ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped have entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. So you see, with all this dissension, all this fighting back and forth between the left and the right, what does that happen, man? What does that cause? That has caused the destruction of the middle class, the destructions of the minorities, the people who are referred to here as the laborers, right? The high, the, the hires, right? And ultimately are the Israelites, man, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, man. We're basically, like that term says, man, when two elephants fight, it's the, it's the flowers and the grass that get trampled, man. That's the Israelites would be the grass, man. And the two elephants fighting are ultimately the the two sides of these uh, Edomite political uh, uh, systems, man. And what's going to happen is because of that, ultimately you're going to see uh, more sedition, more riots, more infighting, and more destruction and fire that's going to come upon Babylon. So again, the Lord took out Ruth Bader Ginsburg at the perfect time to cause the most damage to Babylon the Great because now is the time of the destruction of the American Empire. Now is the downfall of the Edomite Empire. So hopefully this video was edifying. Until the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rapal, Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.